The Masters 2023 is set to begin in a few days, but the news is not good for PGA Tour players. Unfortunately, this year's Masters is being highly discussed for a reason that has shocked golf fans. The tournament has just made a shocking announcement that has not been well received by many, and protests are already being organized. Find out all the details of this surprising decision that is expected to generate protests during the Masters. Remember to click on the registration button to see all our videos. The Masters, held in Augusta in April, has always brought together the best golf players in the world and is one of the major golf tournaments globally recognized. But this year, there has been a change in the rules to determine who can participate in the Georgia tournament. The president of Augusta National, Fred Ridley, who is the leader of the Masters, brought unpleasant news regarding the athletes' participation rules in the tournament. This left many golf fans furious, and several players criticized Fred's decision. It will certainly surprise you. Since the creation of LIV Golf, there has been a great dispute between the PGA Tour and the league sponsored by Saudi Arabia. But Fred Ridley announced that regardless of which league the players are competing in, all can participate in the Masters in 2023, which means that LIV golfers who meet the Masters criteria can also participate in Augusta National. In his statement, Ridley used a phrase used in the creation of the Masters in 1934. The purpose of the Masters tournament has been to benefit the game of golf each April. The Masters assembled the world's leading golfers to compete for the green jacket at a place in history. It provides a stage for fans to experience dramatic moments of a competition at the highest level and promotes the sport domestically and abroad. This means that golfers who have switched to LIV golf can also participate in the Masters in 2023. The announcement generated a great repercussion among athletes, sports fans, and even among a group that defends survivors and families of the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center. The decision divided opinions, while some support it, others commented that LIV golfers should not participate in this year's Masters. The group known as 911 Families United threatens to protest at Augusta National if the decision is upheld. Regarding the problems involving the PGA and LIV golf, the Masters also commented that it will not interfere in the dispute and will let the two leagues solve their problems independently. Do you like this decision? In addition to this statement, the Masters made another important decision, there will be no changes to the invitation criteria for participation in next year's Masters. You will agree with me that this is very important and historical news for golf. This decision by the Masters indicates that the PGA Tour lost the battle against LIV at the Augusta Tournament. The tournament, which is among the top four in the world and highly anticipated by sports fans, is played annually at the Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia. After much discussion, it was decided that it would accept all players who meet the criteria regardless of the league they play in. Several legends of world golf have participated in the tournament, and some of them have won the green jacket, such as Byron Nelson, Sam Snead, Gene Sarazen, Tom Watson, Ben Hogan, Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player, and Tiger Woods. Now, even LIV golfers who meet the Masters criteria will have the opportunity to make history by winning the green jacket. Among the 16 members of LIV golf, only six were invited to participate in the Augusta National for meeting the classification criteria, they are Dustin Johnson, Sergio Garcia, Patrick Reed, Phil Mickelson, and Carl Schwartzell. Meanwhile, golfers Joaquin Nyman, Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka, and Cameron Smith were invited, despite playing for LIV golf. Brooks Kepka, Bryson DeChambeau, and Cameron Smith have won major championships in the last five years. The Masters' decision to allow LIV Golf's golfers to participate can be considered a major victory for the Saudi-sponsored league. The new golf league has attracted some of the top players from the PGA Tour by offering multi-million dollar contracts, which has caused a great war between the PGA and LIV, including several lawsuits. The statement made by Augusta National Chairman Fred Ridley to allow LIV Golf's golfers to participate in the Masters can be seen as a response to the growing popularity of golf worldwide. The participation of LIV athletes in one of the world's premier golf tournaments is an opportunity for the league to gain even more visibility and grow even more. Martin Slumbers, CEO of the Royal and Ancient Golf Club, a similar decision by stating that he would allow LIV Golf's athletes to participate in this year's Open. Fred Ridley did not hide his sadness when talking about how men's golf has been developing in recent years, especially with regards to disagreements and legal issues involving the PGA Tour and LIV Golf. He cited that since its creation in 1934, 
The Masters has featured the world's best golfers and that will continue this year, regardless of the tour they belong to, making golf increasingly known around the world. Additionally, the best golfers want to compete for a place in the tournament's history, and sports fans can see the biggest golf stars playing at a high level up close. Ridley did not like the way the two tours are behaving and made it clear that they are not positively contributing to the future of the sport. He further stated that the previous champions of the tournament deserve great respect and each one of them has left their mark for future generations. According to him, all of them played a very important role in making golf better known and better. Fred Ridley strongly criticized the rift between the two tours, with constant accusations and insults exchanged between the PGA Tour and LIV Golf. He cited that this division is harming the legacy that great past golfers left for the sport. Despite being saddened by everything that is happening with golf, Fred made it clear that the Masters will continue the tradition of featuring all the world's best golfers in 2023. But he said that in the future, there may be changes in how athletes are qualified. According to him, in 2023 only players who qualify to participate in the Masters through the current criteria and rankings will be invited. Some members of the LID, such as Louis Posthausen, Taylor Gooch, Jason Cockrack, Abraham Anser, Kevin Na, and Harold Varner III, are ranked among the top 50 in the world according to the Masters criteria and will be invited to Augusta National. Taylor Gooch qualified through the world rankings and was slated to play in the 2022 Tour Championship but was not allowed to participate. Apparently, a person connected to Augusta National threatened not to send invitations to the Masters if they switched to the LID Golf. Ridley, on the other hand, advised the players to stay on the PGA Tour this year and refused to meet with Gregory Norman to discuss a new business model. Still, the Masters' decision to include LID players was crucial for the Arab-sponsored tour to gain more prominence in the sport. Norman is seeking room for LID athletes to participate in the most important golf tournaments and has made it clear that majors need strength, and LID players can contribute to that. As a player, Greg Norman won the British Open twice and was the runner-up in the Masters three times. Most golfers are in favor of LIV players participating in the Masters and would like to play alongside the best athletes of the moment. Regardless of any differences between the PGA and LIV in men's golf, sports fans are eager to closely follow the competition between the world's best players. However, the group known as 911 Families United, which advocates for survivors and families of the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center, issued a statement requesting that Augusta National reconsider its decision to allow players from the Arab-sponsored league to participate. One of the group's members is Terry, who lost her husband Tom in the terrorist attack and has spent the past few months attacking athletes who decided to join the Saudi-sponsored league. According to her, the group would protest if Augusta's decision to allow LIV golfers to compete were upheld. Augusta was not surprised by this type of attitude, as the same group that supports 911 has protested at various LIV events in the United States. LIV believes that the PGA Tour plays a crucial role in the protests. The Arabs of LIV even claimed in court that the PGA financed and coordinated protests at LIV events to try to maintain the golf monopoly. What is your opinion on the Masters decision? Leave your comment below. Remember to click on the subscribe button below to see all our videos. Thank you for watching.